Last week on the 7th of November, photographs began circulating on Russian telegram channels of North Korean Type 73 general purpose machine guns said to be in Russia. I was going to make a video about this last week, but I was hoping to see some more imagery confirming the fact that they are actually in Russia, but we haven't had any more so far, so I'm going to dive in this week. The appearance of the photographs led to suggestions that the weapons are now in Russian service. This claim is somewhat supported by the appearance of Russian EMR camouflage in the top right corner of one of the photographs. The Type 73 is a fairly rare weapon, though it has surfaced in conflict areas such as Yemen, Iraq, Syria and Lebanon over the years. Thought to have entered service in the early 1970s, it's a somewhat unusual machine gun which is gas operated using a long stroke gas system. It fires from an open bolt and is chambered in the long serving 7.62 by 54R cartridge. It's derived from the PK pattern machine gun and as such feeds from standard Russian metal non-disintegrating belts. But it's also able to feed from a proprietary box magazine, which kind of look like oversized AK mags. The magazine is dual stack single feed, which is designed to allow the Type 73's bolt to pull the cartridges out the rear, as it does with belts. Check out Ian of Forgotten Weapons' video for a better look at the action. The dual feed design appears to have been influenced by the Czech BZ-5257. The Type 73 has a longitudinal fluted barrel with its front portion just ahead of the gas block machined as a spigot to enable it to fire rifle grenades. It comes with a removable barrel shroud which acts as a muzzle device. Also visible in the photographs are the segments of cleaning rod which sit in channels in the weapons bipod. The dates and locations of when the photographs were taken is unclear and various Russian telegrams are claiming a range of explanations varying from the weapons were brought along with North Korean troops who have reportedly arrived in Russia in recent weeks, to they were provided to Russia as part of the military aid being provided by North Korea. However, the photographs may have also been taken during past exercises involving Russian and North Korean troops. The environmental conditions in the photographs do, however, correlate with the photographs being taken recently. As a series of as yet unverified videos and photographs of North Korean troops in Russia have surfaced in recent days. Intriguingly, it was reported that the Ukrainian GUR had claimed that the North Korean troops in Russia would be equipped with Russian small arms and light weapons, including AK-12s, RPKs, PKMs and RPG-7s. The available imagery shows three Type 73s together in one photograph, and then three detailed photographs of another weapon on its own. The visible serial numbers on the guns include 904023, 905012, and a partially visible serial number which appears to read 90 possibly 4032. These place all of the weapons in a relatively close serial number range. Intriguingly, the typical star and model number aren't visible in this photograph. It's extremely intriguing to see these weapons appear in Russia, especially if we see more images which verify their use in Russian service. It raises questions as to why Russia needs North Korean GPMGs. Is Russia suffering from a shortage? The presence of some RPD light machine guns appearing in imagery of Russian troops training may also support this. The origins of the photograph Type 73s is unclear. While the obvious source would be North Korea themselves, if so, it's interesting that they chose to supply Type 73s rather than their own straight copy of the PKM, the Type 82. If these guns are to be used for training purposes or indeed in the field, then it would make more logistical and operational sense to acquire Type 82s so troops have commonality and familiarity with the Russian PK pattern machine guns. Another alternative potential origin for the guns is Russia's other ally, Iran. Iran is reported to have acquired large numbers of Type 73s during the Iran-Iraq war and has since provided them to their proxies and allies. It may be that Iran has provided a shipment of these machine guns as part of their aid to Russia. Regardless of their origins, it remains to be seen if the Type 73s will enter service with Russian troops, or indeed if we'll see any evidence of any other North Korean small arms being used. Despite digging, I haven't seen any further visual evidence of Type 73s, but if you spot some, please do let me know. Thanks for watching guys, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, please consider supporting us via Patreon, or check out the History of Weapons and War app. Links to both of those are in our description box below. You can also help us by sharing the video with friends, that's really appreciated, as it does help get the word out. Thanks again, catch you next time.